Welcome fellow laserheads to Houston Acrylics Laser Ed, where we learn, laser, and lead together in our maker community. Today we will be walking through how to make an LED infinity mirror. Infinity mirrors are great pieces of functional art that use two-way mirror to create a repeating pattern effect when combined with a light source. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you need trimmable LED strips. These can be found online or at your local electronics store. Clamps, we prefer silicone tip clamps to protect our materials. Glue, we use our go-to Loctite Crystal Clear Extreme Glue and your laser-friendly materials. For this specific design, we used 1 8 inch black and black matte acrylic, quarter inch black acrylic, 1 8 standard clear silver mirror acrylic, and 1 8 two-way mirror acrylic. All these materials can be found online at houstonacrylic.com. We are making our laser file in Adobe Illustrator, but any vector design program should work. This infinity mirror is created by layering several pieces of acrylic together. We recommend creating a unique artboard or canvas for each unique layer and cut. This design comprises of seven layers in total, which we name from back to front. Layer one is the backer. Next is the silver mirror. Then you have two core layers, followed by your two-way or infinity mirror, another core layer, and finally a frame. All of the core layers are done in our quarter inch acrylic, while the rest are 1 8 inch acrylic. The quarter inch acrylic helps give it the shadow box effect and the thickness that we need to fit in the electronics. Now let's make our file. We recommend using a basic shape like a circle or a heart. For this project, we used a mushroom silhouette. Your first board will be your backer. This will serve as your main template for all other shapes. Since we are hanging this up, we added a nail hanging cut. This shape can be found for free on the Glowforge forum and is a great thing to add to your digital toolkit for future projects. Your next layer will be for your silver mirror. Copy and paste your original shape onto a new board. Then using Pathfinder, create an offset path. This will be an internal or a negative offset. We used a negative 0.65 inch offset. This will allow enough room along the edges of the mirror for our LED strip. Delete the outer shape so only the internal offset remains. Next is our core layers. These layers create a border around the project and hold up the LED strip. Copy and paste your original shape to a new board. Create another offset path using the Pathfinder tool. We used a negative 0.5 inch offset. This creates a thick enough edge to prevent the acrylic from snapping. Then using the Pathfinder tool, minus the front of the offset from the back image to create your core frame. Now we need to account for the LED strip. To do that, we created a 0.2 inch wide box that we centered towards the bottom of this layer. Then using the Pathfinder tool, we minus the front shape from the back shape. This creates the exit slot for the LED strip to come out of during assembly. Because there are two duplicate core layers, I copy and paste the image we just did on its own board. This isn't necessary, we just prefer to have a unique board for each unique layer in our project. The next layer is the infinity mirror or two-way mirror layer. This actually matches the silver mirror shape we made previously, so just copy and paste that into place on its unique board. Once again, having a separate board isn't necessary, it's just our preference for helping keep our file clean. Next is our final core layer. This layer will create the necessary depth by holding up the infinity mirror away from the silver mirror. Copy and paste your original shape to a new board. Then create another internal offset path using the Pathfinder tool. Because this layer needs enough room to hold the mirror, we used a negative one inch offset. This allows the layer to sit flush against the other core layers after the two-way mirror is attached to its surface. Use the Pathfinder tool to minus the front offset from the back to create your core frame. The final layer is the front facing frame. This layer you have more freedom to fit your desired aesthetic. We chose to do an offset layered effect instead of having the frame match the core layers for added dimension. Start by copying and pasting your original shape to a new board. Then using the Pathfinder tool, create an offset path. We used a 0.25 inch offset for the frame. Next, using the Pathfinder tool, we're gonna to create another offset. This time we did a negative one inch offset with a rounded joint for our desired effect. Then you're going to use the Pathfinder tool to minus the front offset from the back offset for your final frame. 
Once your files are done, it should look something like this. You can see how at a glance, if you stack each layer on top of each other, it's creating a nice shadow box effect and you're ready to cut. While I won't bore you with all of our laser cuts, there are a few things unique that I wanna point out. The first is when working with the silver mirror, we recommend doing all of your cuts with the mirror side facing down. If your design is symmetrical, like our mushroom, you can cut it just like normal. However, if you chose a non-symmetrical design, you will need to reverse your image before doing the mirror cut. Otherwise, it will be cut out backwards. The next thing you need to know for cutting this project is how to cut the two-way mirror. The two-way mirror from Houston Acrylic comes with two different plastic films, a clear plastic film on one side and a blue plastic film on the other side. The clear plastic film is always the front and the blue plastic film is always the back. When cutting, we recommend that you cut front side up with the clear plastic film facing you and the blue plastic film on the bottom. We remember this easily with blue is bottom, blue is back. If you are using a different laser than you see pictured here, you may need to add paper masking on top of your plastic film to prevent flashback. We found with our Epilogue 120 watt that with the right settings and with a clean machine, the plastic film is just enough protection and works just fine. However, you might need to test different masking alternatives for your machine. Once laser cuts are done, it's time for assembly. For this project, we assembled the layers in two different sections, a top and bottom assembly. The bottom layer consists of the backer and the two duplicate core layers glued together. Here we've already started assembling the bottom layers together. To add the second core layer, we are going to be using the Loctite Extreme Glue and applying it evenly to the edge of the acrylic. Once you are ready to attach the core pieces together, you want to make sure that you lay them on top of one another with the edges flush and lined up. Because this glue is forgiving, you do have time to line it up with your fingers and go in and get everything sorted. Once you feel it's lined up, you're going to want to clamp the pieces down together. The clamps help the glue secure and hold your pieces in the right position. As you're clamping though, the clamps will disrupt the position of the pieces. So when you go clamp by clamp, just double check that the alignment didn't get off and adjust as necessary. Use as many clamps as you feel work best for your project and your shape. We probably overdo it on the clamps because they're on hand and they help things feel a bit more secure to us. Before moving forward, we wanted to remind everybody to always test their electronics before assembly. This includes both how they plug in, if the remote works, and how the electronics hold up to movement. Our initial LEDs did not work because we did not test them thoroughly, and unfortunately you will see two different LEDs used throughout the rest of this project. Now it's time to install the LEDs. You can see that the silver mirror has already been attached to the backer. That's because we had to remove those initial LEDs that were faulty. However, we recommend that you install the silver mirror after the LEDs are installed. If you do it this way, it's not going to be the end of the world. There is a nice channel groove created with the silver mirror offset for the LEDs to fit snug into where it almost snaps into place. So whether you put the silver mirror on before or after the LEDs, your project will come out just fine. The first step to installing the LEDs is to measure the LED strip correctly. The LED will enter and exit through this hole that we created at the bottom. Without using any glue or adhesive, you're going to hold your LED at the bottom of the entrance and begin to lay it out along its intended path. You'll want to make sure that the end with the outlet or USB connection is the portion that's sticking out at the bottom of the frame because you will not be cutting towards that end of the LED strip. Once you have measured out where the LED strip ends within the frame, you are ready to trim the ends of your LED strip. When cutting trimmable LED strips, you want to make sure that you cut a nice clean edge along the cut line. 
Most LED strip cut lines are indicated by these copper markings and you want to cut directly along that line. Use a nice sharp pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife and give it a nice clean and clear cut. If your cut is jagged or not straight, it can create a fault within the LED strip. Now you are ready to install the LED strip. This LED strip came with a strong adhesive and no additional glue is required. If your LED strip does not have a self-mounting adhesive or the adhesive is poor, you can apply the Loctite glue on the strip for a more secure hold. To apply the LED strips, we remove the adhesive masking and start at the bottom of our frame. Using the frame as our guide, we apply the strip upright along the edges of the two quarter inch core layers. As you apply it along the edge of the core layers, press firmly with your fingers and hold for several seconds before moving on. We typically worked in about one inch section increments when applying the LED strip. We also removed the adhesive masking as we went as opposed to all at once. That just keeps it a little bit mess free and it doesn't run the risk of drying out your adhesive or getting your LED stuck to the wrong places at the wrong time. Once we finish applying the LED strip, we use this spatula tool to just help us get into some of the nooks and crannies and crevices to press down and really make sure that the LED was secured correctly. And once you're finished, it should look like this coming out of the bottom of your frame. Now that the bottom assembly is complete, it's time to move on to the top assembly. The top consists of the front frame, third core, and two-way mirror. This is what it will look like when it's all set up and glued together. To assemble, we worked front to back, starting by gluing the core to the front frame. We lined just the inner edge on the back of the frame with our Loctite glue before lining up the core layer. This process is similar to how we adhered the bottom layers together. Glue, align, clamp, and adjust as needed. The final layer is to attach the two-way mirror. It is important to apply the two-way mirror with the blue film in the back. Here we have the top layer with the front facing us. This means we will apply the side with the clear film to the top frame. Remember to remove the film before applying. Following the same steps as before, we are going to apply a thin strip of glue to the inner edge of the frame. Once the glue is laid down, we will apply the two-way mirror with the silver side facing down and the blue side facing us to the layers. Once everything is adhered, this is how the final top layer should look. Make sure you don't forget to clamp the mirror and wait for it to dry. Once everything is dry, you're ready for the last step of assembly. Remember to remove the blue film from the two-way mirror before beginning this step. We try our best to leave the film on as long as we can during these projects, just to protect the face of the acrylic from any potential scratching, dust, or glue. Once these two layers are glued together, they will be permanently secured and you're unable to get in between them. For that reason, we recommend going through with a microfiber cloth and cleaning up the faces of the mirror to make sure that all the dust and glue residue are completely off the surface before they're attached to each other. The glue residue and any dust particles will be visible with the light and the mirror when you finish assembly, and you wanna to try to avoid that as much as possible. Following the same process as before, we're applying a nice layer of our Loctite glue to the bottom layer. And once that is set up, we will go ahead and line up the top layer with the bottom layer and snap it into place. How we made the file with the offset should mean it should just slide right in and there should be very little um, adjustments necessary. Once everything's aligned and snapped in perfectly, go ahead and set your clamps and let it dry. Once it's ready, you can hang it up, turn off the lights and enjoy your one of a kind piece of decor. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to try your own infinity mirror, all acrylic sheets can be bought at www.usinacrylic.com. Be sure to subscribe and follow us at Houston Acrylic for more laser tips and tricks.